Hey, Chad. Dude, happy new year. Oh, yes, my brothers. It will be a happy, wildcat new year. Happy wildcat new year. Oh, yes, my brothers. It will be a happy wildcat new year. Because this Friday we play the league championship game with you, Mr. Troy Bolton, leading us to infinity and beyond. Hallelujah. Wildcats, everyone, you guys really got it going on. Wildcats in the house, everybody say it now. Guys, here she comes. Man, she's gorgeous. Hey, the ice princess has returned from the North Pole. Hi, Sharpay. Um, well, so how are you? Hey, Troy. Ready for the big game? Hi, Troy. Hi, Sharpay. <laughs> They were heralding my entrance here. Blood Diva speaks, so what did you do? Over the break, Sharpay, your nails or your scales? <laughs> scales, just like all the other snakes. Wildcats everywhere, wave your hands up in the air. That's the way we do it, let's get to it, come on. Kessie, you must be new. Gabriella Montez. Hi. Yeah, my mom just got transferred. Again. Welcome! Moving can be such a drag. Did you at least do something fun over the winter break? Oh, you know. My mom took me on a ski trip. All I did was read. <laughs> Excellent! Another bookworm! With all those cute boys on the slopes? Don't you know why Prada makes all of that fabulous opera ski wear? Loser! Well, um... Actually, I did meet a boy. See? So make it with the news blast, sister. I'm all ears. It was the best trip. The slopes were perfect. And I met the hottest little snow bunny ever. You'll never guess how I met him. How'd you meet her? Snowboarding? Snowboarding. Singing! He was pretty good, too. Oh, man, she was so hot, the slopes turned to slush. Yeah, so did Troy. Singing? They threw a contest for the kids. It was kind of romantic, you know? Can you say... Karaoke? Karaoke! I'm Troy. I can't sing. Gabriella, me either. They're all looking at us. I will if you will. Ready for the big New Year's kiss. Ten. Oh no, I have to go. I promised my mom, New Year's thing. Eight. Here, put your phone number. Seven. I'll do it too. I had such a great time Six. with you. Five. Me too. It was awesome. It was like a dream. I made a New Year's resolution to call her and ask her out on a date. Do you, you know, know what, what my New Year's resolution, resolution is? Helen! I'm gonna work my jump shot. I'm gonna work the occasion. I'm gonna win the game. I'm gonna win the prize. Be the star just like always. Be the star, not the psychic. So they open up her eyes.
great New Year's. I think it's going to be a great New Year's for all of us. This year I know it's going to happen, going to happen for me. It's going to happen for me. I didn't know it before, but now. Cats, listen up for the very first morning announcement of the brand new year. This is Jack Scott from the Velvet Fog of East High with Homeroom 411 on what's going down and coming up this week. For the Science Decathlon this Friday, see Taylor Learning Curve McKessie for more skinny on the hood. During free period, the Science Club will meet in room 213 and then switch to the Bay with the AD Club in room 312 and then reverse and alternate their set schedules for the second half of the winter quarter. The Skydiving Club will meet in the rooftop at 3 p.m. and the First Aid Club will be waiting for them down in the parking lot below. All for now, Pete. tragedy with three, count them, three tap numbers. Oh, by thinking outside the box, Kelsey has brilliantly swapped out a tragic ending with a happy one in which the two lovers both live and move to Albuquerque, oh, simply bursting with sword fights, meddling parents and teenagers caught in the grip of forbidden love. If you kids can't relate to that, I'll eat my gum. Now, there will be individual auditions for our supporting roles in chorus, as well as pairs auditions for the two leads. <laughs> Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a football court. Save your bilabial fricatives for someone of your own primitive aesthetic. <laughs> this year, as always, our drama club faces a dearth of male participants, so I encourage you, please, Come in and audition. I'm offering you the chance to spread your wings into bold new horizons. I'm offering you the timeless allure of the grease paint, the magical power of the Klieg lights. All right, I'm offering you extra credit. Ha, ah, the dreaded cell phone symphony returns to our crucible of learning. Sharpane Ryan Evans, your phones please, and I'll see you in detention. We have zero tolerance for cell phones during class, so we'll get to know each other in detention. Phone, please. And welcome to East High, Miss Montez. 
Mr. Bolton, I see your phone is involved. Splendid, we'll see you in detention as well. That's not even a possibility, Miss Darbus, Your Honor. Sir? Because we have basketball practice after school and choice. That's 30 minutes for you too, Mr. Danforth. Count them. That could be tougher, Chad, since he probably can't count that high. Taylor McKessie, 35 minutes. But I've never had detention in my life. Well then, Happy New Year. This ain't my first time at the rodeo, kiddies. Shall the carnage continue? Saved by the bell, you may collect your phones after detention. Have a wonderful day. Attention custodial staff, a nauseous freshman has just shared his pancakes all over the third floor corridor. We're talking major spiritual. Sorry, peeps, this just in. Please remember to audition for the school musical Juliet and Romeo, written by Red Hawk composer Big Kelsey Nielsen. Until later, this is Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of East High. <laughs> I don't. Believe it. Me? Either. But how? We just moved here to Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here too. I looked through the lodge on New Year's Day. Yeah, but... don't leave first thing. Why are you whispering? Well, I told my friends I went snowboarding. I didn't tell them about the singing thing. Too much for them to handle? It was cool, but me and my friends, that's not what we do. I was like a different person. Pretty crazy, right? Meeting up again like this? Hey, I was gonna call you like bunch of times. And? <laughs> and, well, you know... You I, chickened out? Kind of. Cool. Hey, now that you've met Darvis the Deranged, I bet you can't wait to sign up for the show. I won't be signing up for anything here for a while. I just want to get to know the school, but if you signed up, I'd consider coming to the show. That's completely impossible. I wouldn't even consider impossible in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to show the new student around. Troy's such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team, just like I'm the star of the drama club. Oh, we're perfect for each other, don't you think? Are we having lunch together today, Troy? Oh, look, the sign-ups for the musical. Oh. Were you going to sign up too? I'm sure we could find something for you. The ugly old nurse is a lot of fun. No, no, I was just looking over the bulletin board. Lots going on at the school. Wow, nice penmanship. I missed you over the break, Troy. So, what did you do? <laughs> Snowboarding, practice basketball, more snowboarding. Hey, gotta go, practice and all. You are so dedicated, just like me. I hope you'll come watch me in the musical. Promise? Maybe it's my hair. Wildcats, it's request time again, and this one goes out from Vice Principal Vinny Ichikawa to whoever took the air out of his tires. Sorry, peeps. Seems we have another request that goes something like this. <clears throat> Try Bolton, get your butts to basketball practice or you're grounded for a week. Later, peeps. <laughs> and remember, the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going! I guess you know that one. All right, give me 10 minutes of control drills and let me see some hustle. Hey, sorry I'm late, coach. Hey, pretty cool that Darvis is giving us extra credit just for auditioning for the show. Do you think LeBron James or Shaquille O'Neal ever auditioned for their school musicals? Yeah, but the extra credit, it's good for college and all. You know what's even better? A big fat basketball scholarship. Ow. You're the team captain, Bolt. Get your head in the game. Man. Here, that's tough. All right, let's kick it in. Run the shuffle drill. Coach said to be right. Break left, watch up for the pick and keep an eye on the fence. Gotta run the give and go, take the bottom of the hole. And don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. Uh, just keep your head in the game. Uh, just keep your head in the game. And don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. 
Let's make sure that we get the rebound. So when we get in the crowd, we'll go wild. Second chance, gotta grab it and go. Maybe this time we'll hit the right now. Not the time and the place. Wait a minute, get my head in the game. Wait a minute, get my head in the game. Wait a minute, wait a minute, gotta get my get my head in the game. You gotta get your get your get your get your head in the game. I gotta get my get my head in the game. You gotta get your get your get your get your head in the game. Come on, get my get my head in the game. You gotta get your get your get your get your head in the game. I gotta get my get your get my get your head in the game. You gotta get your get your get your get your head in the game. Woo! Why am I feeling so wrong? You have to ask yourself, is your head My head's in the game, but my heart's in the song. She makes this feel so right. Should I go for it? Better shake this. Yikes. Ball up, booyah, booyah, now I got the sword on. Now break, make the pass, clean the glass. Take another swipe from the charity stripe. Make the slam dunk. Get the inside, outside dunk. Get deli, dunk, get deli. Keep your head low, don't forget. And joy, boy, joy, be cutting the net. Gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. Come on, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. I gotta get my, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. 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 You gotta get your get your head in the game. You gotta get your get your get your get your head in the game. You gotta get your get your head in the game. You gotta get your get your get your get your head in the game. Come on, get your get your head in the game. You gotta get your get your get your get your head in the game. I gotta get my get your get my get your head in the game. You gotta get your get your get your get your head in the game. 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 to solve this relationship between energy and principal quantum number equation. Glass, give it your best shot. So, it seemed like you knew Troy Bolton. Not really. I just asked him for directions. Troy doesn't usually interact with new students. Why not? Oh, it's pretty much basketball 24-7 with him. Plus, he's such a bully, always picking on the smaller kids. That's nice. He hates math. And chemistry. Don't get him started on chemistry. I don't think he's open to books and Sally, Dick, and Jane. Says he didn't get it. Typical jock, right? Cool. And he's a meat eater with a flatulence problem. Ask anybody. <laughs> Miss Tenney? Yes, Gabrielle? Oh, I'm sorry. I think it should be 10 to the negative 18th power. That's all. 10 to the negative 18th power? That's quite impossible. Well, Miss Montez, I stand corrected. I'm very impressed and welcome aboard. Did you know that Troy spent a year in juvenile hall? Something to do with cats and lawnmowers and, uh, be gone. You have no power here. Whatever. <laughs> well, I'm impressed you're a genius. Please, it was just an equation. Ryan, it's me. I thought Miss Darvis took your phone away. Oh, we always keep a spare in case our agent calls. Look, our science capitalism team has a big regional match on Friday. We've never won it before, but with you on our team, we might stand a chance. Thanks, but I think I'll pass for now. I just want to get acclimated to the new school and all. Well, how much you'll think about it? Promise. <laughs> Troy Bolton was looking at the audition list. Again? He was with that Montez had this morning, and they were both looking at the list. 
There's something freaky about her. Did you Google her like I asked? Yeah, it's like she has a second brain or something. Why is she interested in musical? She's interested in Troy, barf boy. Look, I need you to plant those printouts in Taylor's locker ASAP, okay? No problem, my boss. Wait, why am I doing that? Okay, there's nothing wrong with making sure that Gabriella gets involved with activities that are appropriate for her. You know, ones that keep her far, far away from Troy Bolton. <laughs> Well, Wildcats, it's time to kiss today goodbye and point me toward detention. So all you evildoers better get your butts to the theater immediately or face the wrath of Darvis, the merciless. This is Jack Scott, signing up. <laughs> My little brave detention menagerie, we thespians often use animals to help build the characters we play. Be the bear, be the ostrich, be the monkey. Oh, you're all doing brilliantly. Come, come now, explore. I, the answer is yes. Huh? I'm so glad you changed your mind about the science decathlon. With credentials like these, we'll win that title for sure. Where did those come from? Didn't you slip them into my locker? Of course not. Well, We'd love to have you on the team. We meet almost every day after school. Please? I don't know. I mean, I need to catch up on the curriculum here before I think about joining any clubs. But what a perfect way to get caught up, meeting with the smartest kids in school. What a generous offer, Taylor. We've never, ever won a science castle before. You could be our answer prayer. Well, OK, I guess I can do it. Yay! <clears throat> OK. So like, quick pro quo, what do you know about Troy Bolton? Troy? I would consider myself an expert on that particular subspecies. Unless you speak cheerleader as in, mm, isn't Troy Bolton just like the hottie super mom? I guess I don't speak cheerleader. <laughs> Which is why we exist in an alternate universe compared to Troy the basketball boy. Have you ever tried to get to know him? He has his click, I have mine. Watch how it works in the cafeteria when you have lunch with us. You'll see. You would think being in the show could be fun? Like even a little? You're a hoops dude, not a musical singer person. I wasn't talking about me, no way. Good, because you can't expect the rest of us to be focused on the game if you're off singing somewhere in leotards. Whoa, no one said anything about leotards. Maybe not yet, my friend, but just you wait. Lovely work, all of you. James? I had no idea an earthworm could have such depth, such pain. Bravo. <laughs> now, gather in a circle for our last little exposure to the magic that is theater. This activity is called the ball of noise. The object of the game is to pass around an invisible ball while making some sort of sound to go with it. Once passed to the next person, the ball can land in any part of the body. You are limited only by your own imaginations. I'll start.
Do whatever you feel, Troy, if there are no wrong answers. Remember, you're limited only by your own imagination. Now go. Excellent, Troy! Everyone help him up before the ball crushes him under his own weight! Where's my team, Darbus, and what the heck are they doing here? It's called a ball of noise, Coach Bolton. I'll run my detention my way, you can run yours your way. These students need to be exposed to the arts by any means necessary. May we have a word, and you two, in the gym, right now. Detention is over for today, you've all done brilliantly. It was an honor and a privilege watching you risk, risk, risk. I expect to see some of you tomorrow afternoon at the auditions. Please remember to be on time. Scoot now, you may collect your phones. Troy and Chad are my two star players. You can't have them acting like idiots when they should be at practice. They were not acting like idiots. They were acting like actors. If Troy and Chad were theater performers instead of athletes, would you seek preferential treatment for them? I think not. Darbus, we are days away from our biggest game of the year. And we are in the midst of auditions for our winter musicale. This school is about more than sweaty young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for buckets. Baskets! And the West High Knights have knocked us out of the playoffs for three years. Yes, and despite your consistent track record for defeat, the school board still sees fit to allocate ten times the amount of money for school athletics as it does for the arts programs! Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach these boys about having a goal, about teamwork, something they can use as adults. Which is precisely what I'm trying to instill in them. How? By making them scream at the top of their lungs? Philistine! Crackpot! Hey, peeps, come back to another train wreck of a school day. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo will start at 3 o'clock p.m. sharp. So you've heard the fessuth of dudes, but tell revith yonder vocal cords. This is Jack Scott, over and out in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. <laughs> To raise the bar, a kicking and a scratching, grinding out my best. Anything it takes to climb the ladder of success. Next, it's hard to believe that I couldn't see you were always there beside me. Such improvement from last year, James. Now don't be shy. Who's next? Jump and hop, hop till we jump and start again. Bop, 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 straight to the top. 
Penis made as an arrangement. <clears throat> it's hard to believe that I couldn't see. You were always there beside me. That I was alone with no one to hold. But you were always right beside me This feeling's like no other I want you to know I've never had someone That knows me like you do The way you do I've never had someone As good for me as you No one like you So lonely before I finally found for. What's up with you and those stupid jazz squares? What? Too hard? I get up and down for you. So good to be seen, so good to be heard. Don't, Don't have to say a word. For so long I was loved, so good to be found. I'm loving having you around. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. That knows me like you do, the way you do. I've never had someone as good for me as you, no one like you. So lonely before I finally found what I've been looking for. Do 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 do. Oh 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 oh. solos? It tells us that you do not offer direction, suggestion, or commentary, and you should be lucky that Ryan and I are here to lift your music out of its current obscurity. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I mean, Sharpay. Nice talking to you. Love the new glasses. Hey, you decided to sign up? <laughs> no, I'm just here for moral support. You are auditioning, auditioning right? No. Your friends don't know you're here, do they? Right. You're not afraid, are you? <laughs> Me? Afraid? 
I'm the one used to being in the spotlight, remember? You're the one who's afraid, not me. I'm not afraid. R2. Yeah, I'm not. R2, R2, R2. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Then get up there and show them what you can do. Don't worry. I'll be right here. I'd like to audition, Miss Darvis. Oh, I'm sorry, dear, but timing means everything in the world of the theater. But I am afraid the individual auditions are long over and there's no one to sing with you for the lead parts. Miss Darvis, I'll sing with her. Troy Bolton? Yes, where is your sports? Posse, or whatever it's called. Team? And I'm here alone. Actually, I'm here to sing with her. Yes, well, I treat my auditions just as seriously as your father treats his basketball practices. I called for the auditions for Juliet and Romeo, and you didn't respond. I'm sorry, but by now we've simply run out of time. You're out of luck, Jack. Troy. You wrote the song Ryan and Chuck Pages sang? Uh-huh. And the rest of the show? Uh-huh. How long did it take you to write it? Uh, about two years. I get up at five every day before school, and I'm still working on the finale. Wow, you're really dedicated. So why are you afraid of Ryan and Sharpay? I mean, it's your show. It is? Hello, thank you. Isn't the writer of a musical like the playmaker in basketball? Playmaker? Yeah, the person who makes everyone else look good. Without you, there is no show. You're the playmaker here, Kelsey. I am? You want to hear the way that song's supposed to sound? starts off quiet, like this. Wow, that's really nice. Go ahead, you first. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see. Nice, keep going. You were always there beside me. Now you. Thought I was alone with no one to hold. Now together. But you were always there beside me. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. flying, like I'm soaring through the sky like a bird or something. Anything's possible in the theater, Troy. You can be whoever you want to be. There's not a star in heaven you can't reach, but you have to allow yourself to risk. That's true for both of you, Miss Montez. Oh, and <laughs> by the way, Troy, you can open your eyes now. We're not doing the miracle worker, you know? <laughs> Amazing. Like, it's exactly what I heard in my head. Bolton, Montez, you've got yourselves your callback. Kelsey, finish the finale and work on it with them. If you guys want to rehearse, I'm usually in the music room during free period and after school, and sometimes during biology class. Call me on my cell phone and I'm there. Or if it's easier, I can come give you a wake up call with my accordion. It's mobile. <laughs> Hello. 
what's going on? Oh yeah. What? what? When? No way. No way. Gotta I go, go, gotta tell my yesterday. yesterday. Chad? See, I got news, got news. Go ahead and speak. Gotta, Gotta pass, pass it around, Gabrielle and Troy. That's not our boy. Pass it around now, don't be slow. Gotta, Gotta go, go to the town, everybody I know. I never heard it sung as half as good as Gabriella. Girl, don't you care? Don't you care about the team, your friends, the game? Oh, How could this happen? Come on. Someone's got to teach that new girl the rules. Right. Wait, what are we doing again? Rule number one, pick the right click. Rule number two, act like your click. Rule number three, dress like your click. Rule number four, make sure your click clicks. And rule number five, stick to the status quo! Dude, you are so totally awesome. Uh, thanks. Why? If you can come out in the open about your singing, I can tell my secret too. I love to bake. What? You can bet there's nothing but net when I'm in the zone and on the roll. But I've got a confession, my own secret obsession, and it's making me lose control. Everybody gather round. Scone, strudel, even apple pandowdy. Not another sound. I dream of making the perfect creme brulee. No, 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 no. to the stop, you know. Something strange is occurring, it's a secret I need to share. Open up deep, way down deep. Hip hop is my passion, I love to pop, lock, break, and jam. Is that legal? Not another beat. It's just dancing, and the truth is, sometimes I think it's even cooler than homework. No, 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 no. Stick to the stuff you know. Well, I'm ready, Del. I've got a need that you cannot deny. There's no explanation for this awesome sensation, and I'm ready to let it fly. Speak your mind, and you'll be heard. Enjoy your being musical, then I'm coming clean. I play the cello! That's awesome! What's that? Is that a song? Not too. Not another word. It's like a giant violin. But do you have to wear a costume? Oh, jacket and tie? What's on call for? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't, Don't stick, stick to the stuff you know. If you want to go far, got to reach where you start. Just follow your dreams and go. You won't stick to the status quo.
This is not what I want. This is not what I planned. And I just gotta say, I do not understand. Something is wrong. Something is not right. happening. Somehow. And we I gotta got get things back where they belong. What are we doing? We wanna play. Stick with what you know. We can do it. The parade. They have got to go. We can do it. Grab the leg. Joy, because of you, I can finally show Sharpay a token of my love. Yeah, I don't know now's the best time to give Sharpay a pie. No, 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 Jack Scott with the late breaking Wildcat News Flash. Students have been spotted singing and dancing on tables in the school cafeteria. Clicks have gone wild in an unprecedented response to Troy Bolton's callback for the school musical. One skater dude was even seen mixing in with the school band's string section. Ah, the humanity. The humanity. Huh. Pretty wild, huh? how crazy it got downstairs just because we got called back. This is much better, right? Much better. So this is your private hideout? Thanks to the horticulture club. My buddies don't even know about it. Looks to me like everyone on campus wants to be your friend. Yeah, unless we lose. Must be tricky being the coach's son. Yeah, he's gonna freak when he hears about the singing thing. You're worried? You know, my parents' friends are always saying, your son is the basketball guy. You must be so proud. You know, sometimes I don't want to be the basketball guy. I want to be, you know, me. I saw the way you treated Kelsey at the audition yesterday. Do your friends know that part of you? Are you kidding me? To them, I'm the playmaker, dude. And they don't know enough about you, Troy. Playmaker. That's such an odd phrase. How about Pigathorian theorem? Well, that's pretty whack. <laughs> I think you mean Pythagorean. <laughs> right? Totally whack. At my other schools, I was the freaky math girl. That's all they thought I was. Always pointing at me, whispering behind my back. They made me feel like I was a freak, and I hated it. That's kind of why I wanted to keep a low profile here, you know? So I could just be me. But you can't let others stop you from doing what you want to do. I mean, you are what you do. Right? Kind of? That's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star. You love the spotlight. I'm a lot happier curling up with the good book. Hiding? No. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Remember in kindergarten, you'd meet a kid, know nothing about them, and then 10 seconds later, you were best friends because you didn't have to be anything but yourself? Yeah. Singing with you felt like that. Like, safe, you know? Never thought about singing before. But when I look at you, it's like anything's possible. So you really want to do the callbacks? Um, That's cool. I mean, I guess I don't want to either. No, I'm in. Really? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. 
You're a cool guy, Joy, but not for the reasons your friends think. Hey, Sharpay, now that Troy's gonna be in your show. Troy Bolton is not in my show. Oh, well, um, did you like the pie I made for you? No, it doesn't go with my skirt. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, well, I thought maybe sometime you'd like to come see me play ball sometime. Hmm, I would rather suck the mucus out of a dog's nostrils until its skull caves in. Well, that doesn't sound very appetizing. Wouldn't you like a nice creme brulee? Some tartufo? Tiramisu? Tiramisu? Why did I say tiramisu? Ah. way to save Troy and Gabriella from themselves. So what you're saying is the individual must be sacrificed for, for the good of the whole. 
That's so very Karl Marx. Works for me. We'll get Troy in the locker room and you guys nab Gabriella in the lab at exactly 1600 hours. Whatever, just work him till Troy he... Bolton is my best friend. I know how to push all of his buttons. Now remember, the line of communication is crucial to the successful deployment of this covert operation. <laughs> I didn't know you could say that many syllables together in one sentence. I'm impressed. Thanks. I've been working on it all night. <laughs> My watch says 1300 hours Mountain Standard Time. Are we synchronized? Save it, Bertrand. These angels, Chad. Mon dieu. I love it when you speak German. <laughs> Don't get shame. Something isn't right. The jocks and the brainiacs mingling in study hall? The jocks rule most of the school. But if they get, but if they get charged in the musical, they'll pretty much conquer the entire student body. And if the brainiacs get Gabriella hooked up with Troy Bolton, then the science club goes from drool to cool, and Troy Bolton will be hers forever! Ryan! We need to save our show from people who don't know the difference between a Tony Award and Tony Soprano. But how? Darvis, I have a plan. Lucy? I'll tell Darvis that Troy got his dad to sabotage the auditions because she gave him detention. She'll never believe that. She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm the president of the drama club. But the president isn't supposed to lie, Sharpay. Yeah, and the vice president's supposed to zip it and do exactly what I tell him to do, all right? Now, come on. The big game's the g after tomorrow. Where's your head? In the game, coach. In the game. And where's Bolton? <whistles> I said. How dare you? What? In all my years in the theater, never have I encountered such childish small minded subterfuge. <whistles> Boys, practice is over. Hit the showers. Now. All right, Bolton. Cards on the table right now. Huh? Your pathetic male ego is all bent out of shape because I put your stars in detention, so now you're getting even? What are you talking about, Darvis? Don't play dumb with me, Bolton! I'm not playing. Some very reliable sources told me all about your little plot to humiliate me in the drama club, and I'm telling you, it ain't gonna fly! Save your speeches for the stage. If you and your all-star son are plotting some kind of practical joke in my chapel of the art! Troy doesn't even sing. Well. I guess you don't know your own son as well as you think you do. But I will not let Juliet and Romeo to be made into a farce. Juliet and Romeo? I knew it very well, Bolton. You leave me no choice. If Troy is actually serious about auditioning, he's going to have to prove it. I won't allow either one of you to make fools out of the drama club. Hey, you don't need my help to do that. <laughs> and you, Mr. I'm soaring, I'm flying. Hi, Miss Darvis. I thought you were genuine, Troy. Wrong again, I guess. What was that all about? You want to tell me something, Bolton? Something about singing? No. I mean, you know. No, I don't know. Darvis did arrange to shoot my head off because she thinks you're plotting something. I was just helping someone audition. It's nothing. It better be nothing. The big game's coming up in a few days. Get your head in the game. For real, Bolton. I'm just going to stay and work on my foul shots. Since you were late for practice, again, it's the least you can do. Wow, so this is your real stage. <laughs> Say that, or just a smelly old gym. Oh, and on top of you're good to hoops, too. I once scored 41 points in a league championship game. No way. Yeah, the same day, I invented the PlayStation and the iPod. I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. I know, me too. And I was late for practice. So if I get kicked off the team, it'll be on your head. Hey, I was... 
I'm Please. Sorry. I'm sorry, miss. This is a closed practice. Oh. Your practice is over. Not till the last player leaves the gym, Bolton. Team rules. I'm sorry, sir. Dad, this is Gabriella Montez. Detention, buddy? Psst, Gabriella, Taylor needs you in the lab right away. I'll see you later, Troy. Nice to meet you, Coach Bolton. Goodbye. Detention was my fault, not hers. You haven't been late to detention in three years. That girl shows up and you're late twice. That girl is named Gabriella, and she's very nice. Helping you this practice doesn't make her very nice. Not in my book or your team. She's not a problem. She's just a girl. But you're not just a guy. You're the team captain. And what you do affects not only this team, but the entire team. Without you completely focused, we won't win the game on Friday. And championship games don't come along every day. There's something special. Yeah, a lot of things are special. You blow this chance, and you'll regret it the rest of your life. You mean like you? You're a playmaker, Bolton, not a singer. Did you ever think maybe I could be both? And my name is Troy, Dad, not Bolton. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Not good enough, Captain. Not good enough, Gabriella. Get your head in the game. There's a choice that you have to make. And it is pretty plain to see. You're either out or in. You either lose or win. Are you going to turn your back on history? On the legend that you're a part of. On the job that you were born to. Counting on counting on counting on you. What history? What legend? Spider Bill in the tree. Harriet Tubman. Sam Slamma Jam and Net Letter. Madame Curie. Thunderclap, half had it. Eleanor Roosevelt. Do you think these Wildcat legends won championships by worrying about some brainiac chick or auditioning for musicals? Do you think these paradigms of education and accomplishment concern themselves with jobs or auditioning for musicals? I don't think so! Check out the champions who came before! Hail the hero that you could be! And put away that dream, cause there's no I in team! And the sacrifice is worth it, we all agree! You just have to keep your focus! And forget about you know who! Don't let us down, you gotta come through! Cause we're counting on, counting on, counting on! That's my dad. That's Troy. Heartbreak, Bolton. Missed the last basket of the 1981 championships. Do it for him, Troy. Give him the championship he always dreamed of. Heartbreak, Bolton. Another loss caused bonehead basketball's moronic shock. But you, you're the future of civilization. You're next in the line. You're part of the chain. And now that we can break it, don't break it. You're the heir apparent That's what everyone said From Frida Kahlo, Indira Gandhi Rosa Parks, Amelia Earhart To Gabriella Montez I'm not going to put 110% of my guts into this game, then you don't know me at all. 
Yeah, we're counting on you. I thought you were my friend. Win together, lose together? We're counting I'm on you. I'm for the team. I've always been for the team. So don't let us down. What about what matters for me? You gotta come What do you want from me? We're counting on, counting on, counting on, counting on. Oh. I can't believe you guys. Is this what you want to hear? Gabriella means nothing to me. Singing means nothing to me. Forget her, forget the audition, and we'll go get that championship. Everyone happy now? Troy? Troy Bolton! Uh, I think it's for you. <laughs> Gabriella, what's going on? Guess what? I don't want to do the callbacks either. Who are we kidding? You've got your team, and now I've got my team. I'll do the science decathlon, you and your championship. It's where we belong. Go Wildcats. But I don't want Me to. either. Goodbye. So, Gabriella, do you want to go to the coke? No, huh? So I'm, I'll see you later. Hey, Troy, you want to grab some lunch? I made a really great fall god tartlet. from the outside I'm standing here but all I want is to be over there Why did I let myself believe miracles could happen Cause now I have to pretend that I don't really care I thought you were my favorite I swore I knew the melody that I heard you singing, and when you smiled, you made me feel like I could sing as
tell you about those stupid jazz squares. Everybody loves a good jazz square. It's a classic. But why do we always have to do what you want to do? Maybe because I know what I'm doing. Look, just do what I tell you to do, okay? I'm not taking any chances. That role is mine. I was born to play it. Somebody that's from out of child, sister. It ain't me. We'll get the roles we want. We always do. I'm not just talking about my role in the play, Ryan. I'm talking about my role in, like, the school. I'm not a jock. I'm not a brainiac. But you know what? I'm the star. That's my role. And if they take that away from me, what am I? Well, you could just be Sharpay. That's not so bad, is it? Are you brain dead? No, I can't be just Sharpay. But on stage, I can be Juliet. I can be any Oakley. I can be anyone I want to be. Not just dumb old Sharpay. I need something to make me fabulous, Ryan. I mean, come on. They named me after a flabby dog. Sharpay, we've had the lead roles every year since birth. If we get it again, great. If not, then we're still fabulous. Oh, but Troy, and that, that thing. Look, maybe Troy like you better if you yourself once. Oh, pardon me, Dr. Phil. But what do you know? You are just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Yeah, well, those are eight very important minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in here. Hi, Troy. Did you come to switch partners and audition with me instead? The answer is yes. Ryan, you're fired. Sharpay! Um, no. Have you seen Gabriella? I really have to talk to her. Who? Forget it. Hey, I saw her about ten minutes ago in the theater. Thanks, Ryan. You're all right. How could you stab me in the back like that? Helping the enemy! I stabbed you in the back? Well, at least now you admit it. Now, run it from the top and lose the stupid jazz squares. <laughs> We're flying, soaring, no, switch it around. We're soaring, flying, that's it. Troy? Gabriella, you have to listen to me. What you heard on the phone yesterday, none of it was true. I didn't mean any of it. You sounded pretty convincing to me. Then you didn't hear the whole thing. I said things that I knew would shut my friends up because I want to sing with you. The guy you met on vacation is way more mean than the guy who said those stupid things. Troy, the whole singing thing is making the school crazy. You said it yourself. Everyone's treating you different because of it. Maybe that's because I don't want to be the basketball guy anymore. Gabriella, when I look at you, I know I can be anyone I want to be because you give me this look that I know I can do anything I want to. But your dad. This isn't about my dad. This is about me, what I want. And I didn't let the team down, they let me down. I'm going to sing, what about you? I don't know, Troy. <coughs> it feels so right to be here with you. And now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart. The start of something new. Living in my own world, didn't understand. Something has changed. 
never felt this way. I know it for real. This could be the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh. And now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart the start of something new. The callbacks are next weekend. We still have a lot of work to do. Now, first, we have to talk to our friends. Yeah, we have to tell them we're going to do the callbacks after all. Well, let's move it already. We're burning daylight. <laughs> I feel so, like, demeritorious about what we did. Me too. I think. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> Guys, we have to talk to you. No, us first. No, this is important. Troy and I have decided... What Gabriella means is... Hey, all you crazy wildcats! Just reminded that the Science Decathlon and Basketball Championship game will both start tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. So don't be late, baby. Come on out and support your... But wait, it looks like we have a late-breaking wildcat newsflash. The callbacks from Juliet and Romeo have been moved up to tomorrow at 3 p.m.? Hey, but wait, Miss Darvish, you can't. That's the same time as... Sorry, Troy. God, over and out. What? How can they do this? It's not fair. How can you be in the science and have them on? And win the championship. And audition for my show. We can't. Well... Clear now, you have no choice. There's only one thing you can do. I know. Maybe next year, right? Audition for the musical. What? Well, what about the team? I thought you wanted to win the decathlon. So we come in second, that's no disgrace. Win or lose, we're teammates. That's what we're about. Even if you turn out to be the worst singer in the world. Which you might actually be because we haven't actually heard you sing. He's fantastic. They both are. What we did was so wrong. We just want you to know that we're going to be there cheering for both of you, in spirit anyway. Yeah, Cap, if singing is something you like to do, we should be boosting you up, not tearing you down. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see you were always there beside me. Oh, good luck at the big game, Troy. Sorry about the callback, Gabriella. Yeah, so, anyway, we've made our decision. I'll be there for the team, Taylor. Me too. I mean, it's just a musical, after all. Just a musical? You know what he means. We can't be selfish. Not when our friends are depending on us. Right, Troy? Right. But you can't! Yes. But we can't. <coughs> Come on, Gabriella. See you guys later. We can't let them do it. Yeah, a drink deferred and all that. We have to figure out a way for them to do both. Team Huddle. Yeah, you spoke jaw. I'm good at foreign languages, remember? <laughs> Down to the split second. I think it's going to be a stretch. Jack's going to help us. He's announcing the game. It's impossible. Leave it to me. I can do anything with my laptop. Go Wildcats! Yesterday, we all were on our own road. We didn't really know. Uh -huh. Something to the table to help the others grow. Oh, to take a new direction. To see through a 
other eyes. To see through other eyes. To make a choice. To make a new connection. Speaking out with one voice, we're gonna rock the house. The party's on, now everybody make some noise. Come on and scream and shout. We've arrived because we stuck together. We make each other strong. We're not the same. We're different in a good way. Together's where we belong. Calling all Wildcats. The following events are all starting immediately. The Science Decathlon is in the second floor lab. The call of acts for Juliet and Romeo is in the theater. And the league championship basketball game is in the gym. Wildcats rule, baby! And the game is about to begin. There's the red hot East High Wildcats take to the court. Led by Team Captain Troy Bolton! Ladies and gentlemen, let the call of acts begin. You have exactly five minutes to solve this equation. Ready, set, and... No coaching from the sidelines, Ms. McKesson. And Bolton grabs the rebound. Our tails off every day. Take the shot, boys. Take the shot. We got a bump the competition. Throw them all away. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna pop, 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 pop to the top. Slip and slide and ride that rhythm. Jump and hop, hop till we drop and start again. Question number 72. Isotopes. You have two minutes to make. I warned you once, Ms. McKesson. Alright, way to hustle guys. Danforth out, Baylor, you're up. You have 30 seconds remaining to finish the equation. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Wipe away your inhibition. Stop, stop, stop. Do the rock and start your stuff. Stop, stop, stop. Straight to the top. Going for the glory. We'll keep stepping up and we just won't stop. Get this party started. To reach the top, up to the top. Oh, Call with the light. Until we fix it or pay the electrical bill, please make an early exit to the theater. Hurry! Run, Troy. You only have about five minutes. What are you talking about? Do you want to sing? It's now or never. It was Taylor's idea. You guys are the best. I know. Now hurry, man. Hurry. 
Gabriella, what are you still doing here? What do you mean? My laptop can only hack the school's electrical grid for about five more minutes. Hurry, you don't have much time. Time. Troy's waiting for you on stage. You did this? Buy me a Coke after you get the lead. Now run! Ryan and Sharpay, well done. Troy Bolton and Gabriella Montez. Troy. Gabriella? Hello? Well, I suppose you were right, Sharpay. See? Unfortunately, I do. But you have to give them a chance! They've been practicing all week and they're really, really good. Like, what you're always talking about, reaching for the stars, that's what they're doing. Please, Miss Darvish, just two more minutes, I'll go look for them. I'm sorry, Kelsey, but as in theater, our lives are defined by our choices. Gabrielle and Troy have clearly chosen not to audition. Congratulations to all. The cast list will be posted. Miss Darvis, we're here. I called your names. Twice. Where were you? Please, just this one time. Rules are rules, Miss Montez. Please, Miss Darvis, give us a chance. A chance for what, Troy? To make a joke out of something that means the world to me and your fellow classmates who came to audition? I came because I want to give it my best shot. Please, we only have a few minutes until the lights come back on. <laughs> well, what's this? A full house? As president of the drama club, I have to put my foot down. No preferential treatment. Those are your words, not mine. Miss Darvis, Troy wasn't trying to screw up the auditions. Sharpay lied to you because she was afraid of losing the part. Shut up. Is he telling the truth? Did you abuse presidential privilege and knowingly lie to me? I didn't lie. I improvised a little. We'll talk about this later, Miss Evans. Right now, off the stage. But off the stage. It's all yours, Miss Darvis. Troy, Gabriella, you may start your call back. But we don't have a pianist. We'll sing without music. Oh, yeah, you won't. Pianist here, Miss Darvis. You really don't want to do that. Oh, yes, I really do. <laughs> Ready on stage. Now that's showbiz. <laughs> I can't do it, Troy. It was so much easier when it was just you and me. Then pretend it's just you and me, like kindergarten. Remember? I'm right here. <laughs> We're soaring, flying, there's a star in heaven that we can if we're trying, so we're breaking free. You know the world can see us in a way that's different from who we are. Creating space between us till we're separate hearts. But you fail. Like a wave, the ocean just can't control. Connected by a feeling, oh, in our very soul. Oh, in our very soul. Rising till it lifts us up, so everyone can see. We're breaking free. Soaring, flying, there's not a star. Try it, now we're breaking free. 
I'm sorry, Coach. No, Troy, I'm sorry. You were fantastic. I was? I spent too much time thinking about what I want for you. Maybe I missed what you want for yourself. You can do anything you want to be. Okay, son? Okay, Dad. forgot the words. I meant your fellow shots. Brilliant. Your son sure can shoot the hoops. He's not a bad singer either. I wonder where he gets it from. We're sorry. Fly it. No, really, where does he get it from? What about your team? We won too. Team voted you game ball, Captain. <clears throat> so you're going with me to the after party, right? Like on a date? Must be your lucky day. Or yours. Hey, I really dig your music, babe. Thanks, I really like your voice. Really? <coughs> you like it. <laughs> Go on, tell her. All right, all right already. Gabriella, congratulations. And? And I'm sorry I lied to Darvis about you and Troy. All's well that ends well, right? <laughs> right. I guess I'm going to play the nurse. Unless you can't go on, that is. So, break a leg! Huh? In theater, that means good luck. Thanks, Sharpe. Don't mention it to anyone. Ever. <laughs> hey, Sharpe. Sorry you didn't get the lead in your show. <laughs> Join the club. But I still think you're fantastic. You do? Like, really? Like, really, really? <laughs> So, where's that creme brulee you promised me? <laughs> Just like kindergarten, right? Only better. Together, we're together, come on, let's do this right. Here and now, it's time for celebration. I finally figured out. Yeah, yeah. That all the dreams oh. have no limitations. That's what it's all about. Come on now. Everyone oh. is special in their own way. We make each other strong. We make each other strong. We're not the same. Oh! Yeah. 
not with one voice. We're gonna rock the house. Rock, rock house. The party's on. Oh. So everybody make some noise. Come on and scream. Thank you.